Today we're going to talk about dry firing as practice. We can practice most this all, in fact, all of the disciplines other than the recoil when we dry fire our weapons. Now, dry firing means that we're going to press the trigger, uh, actuate the gun as if there was ammo in it, but there isn't. We don't put any ammo in the gun. All right. In fact, what we do is we empty the gun, put the ammunition in another room, and then come back to the original room and dry fire, and I'll tell you why. Uh, there was a judge in Miami, Florida, cool guy, uh, silver gray hair, wore it in a ponytail, had a big Panama hat. But when he was in court and under his robe, he had a 1911 Colt. Okay, he, he was a neat guy. Well, he went to one of my classes and called me up and said, Carl, I gotta tell you what I did. It's fantastic. I said, what's that? He says, I was dry firing my gun and I was aiming at that handle on the jealousy window. It's like a hand crank, okay? And he said, I was dry firing. Then, uh, of course, I emptied the gun and then, then uh, loaded up the firearm again and decided, well, let me dry fire again. And he emptied out his magazine and he started dry firing again. And then uh, he loaded up his gun and got a telephone call. And while he was talking on the phone, he put it down and then proceeded to shoot the handle off his jealousy window. He was so pleased that he hit the little handle that he called me up and let me know. So please, if you're gonna dry fire, put the ammo in another room, okay? Now, dry firing, I could do everything I would do on a range. Of course, I don't have to be in a range. Now I don't have to worry about the backstop by practicing my trigger control, sight picture, and more or less keep on practicing that trigger control like we talked about before, and focus on that front sight, and press the trigger. And you can do this on and on and on. Now there's some guns, now this particular gun that's a Taurus, What's really neat about it, when I press the trigger and the striker hits, it does not require the slide to come back to set the sear. Now, a lot of guns will require that, but on this Taurus, it doesn't. So it's pretty neat. Most guns you could dry fire, excluding 22s. And there's some military guns like the CZ-52. They tell you, don't dry fire that thing, you'll break a firing pin. But we're fortunate to have a 22. That's the Taurus TX-22 that striker fired. And it allows you to dry fire. A rim fire, which is very, very unique. This is the optimum training tool. I'm telling you. If you're looking for a 22 pistol, this is it. Because it holds 16 rounds, it doesn't weigh anything, it has an extremely short reset, and we'll talk about that at another time, about trigger reset. And in fact, this is more or less uh, dry fire one. Dry fire two will simulate bullet impact by using a laser on a pistol. So that's, uh, we'll do that maybe tomorrow. But this is all you need to do. Just make sure your firearm is empty. Check it out, I don't care how many times you do. It's better than putting holes in your wall and hurting somebody. And just pick it up as if you were gonna shoot it. And press the trigger and keep on practicing. And watch your front sight. If the front sight moves, rearrange your grip. So when a hammer falls, the sight doesn't move. Well, let's dry fire one for today. Come out to flowermillandtradingpost.com, uh, visit our shop, and we can talk some more. Thanks a lot.